Well, good morning. It's Labor Day. I know you're seeing this a day late, but I'll tell you, you can tell I'm wearing my long sleeve shirt today. It's not a real thick one. This is a really thin shirt that I got off of my own merch site that I really just love when it gets cool. It's actually got a little hood and everything. I don't need that this morning. It's just quite cool for a, a summer morning in Florida. I guess fall got here a little early. It's supposed to be here on the 23rd, and here it is on the, what is today, the 4th? Yeah, my wife's birthday is tomorrow. You know what's funny is she was born on Labor Day, and I was born on Election Day. And that means every year our birthday may or may not fall on the holiday or special day that we actually have, uh, were born on. But anyway, decided to get out and get, get that exercise this morning. You know, yesterday I had to take a day off. I... I was just so beat when I got up in the morning, mentally and physically, I needed a rest day. And it was Sunday, so I figured it's a good day for a rest day. So we stayed in and we uh, we watched, my church up in Georgia had a Labor Day conference. So we watched the Bible lessons from Saturday in the morning and then we watched the morning lessons. And then we did a whole seminar Bible study on another website or on, on another guy's channel. That was just so, uh, so good for the soul. I don't know how to describe it. There are times, though, when I am listening to a good teacher that is helping me understand what the scriptures mean. And this particular teacher was taking the original Hebrew and breaking it down, man. He was just making it so clear what God was trying to talk to us about. And ultimately... The thing that I got from it is that I know not everyone out there is a believer like I am, but for those of you who are believers, you'll appreciate this. There's basically two ways God divides up the human race, believers and unbelievers. And those who are believers, they're part of his family. They're a part of his family in the sense that you ask yourself, why, why would an all-powerful God even take the time to talk with us about things or to suggest that we do anything. Why not just make it happen? You know, this is one of the things that often gives people doubt in their Christian life is why does God allow these things to happen? Why does God allow all of this to go on? And ultimately it's because he gave us free will. He wanted us to be able to respond and interact with him the way your family does. And when I started to really think about that from the perspective of the way I love my family and the way I want time with my family, and I realized that's what God wants from us, it was just so illuminating and so wonderful at the same time. It just, uh, it, it, made, it made the whole day worth the study, even though it did get wearying at the end. And we had to stop because the lecture was like six hours long. I think we were in our fourth hour when we said, all right, let's take a break. I'll tell you, it's just so refreshing. It's so refreshing to your soul when you know where you stand with your maker. It's a beautiful Labor Day morning. Look at that sun busting through the clouds. Just getting the day started. I sure have missed the sunrises. Love it. You know, even though I've talked about being able to deal with anxiety and depression not being an issue on this, on this way of eating anymore, that doesn't mean that I don't get moments of worry and doubt and fear over what's going on in the world, over what's going on in my life, how I'm going to provide for my family. You know, all of those things, they still jump up on my, on my shoulders too, just like they do everyone else. But after that study yesterday, I just... I got down on my knees and prayed to the Lord and I said, Lord, I thank you for wanting to be, to wanting to have me in your family, for wanting me to be a part of what you're doing. And I just put my faith in you to guide me through the decisions that I make each day, to help me see the right decisions to make based on the things that you teach me. And I'll tell you, last night I fell asleep so easily, so early, and then I, I started to wake up too early because I was ready to go, but I got to work until 10 o'clock tonight from 2 to 10, and then it, sometimes it takes a little longer to get out of there. By the time I get home where I want to get to sleep, I'll already want to be asleep, 
if I get up too early. So I had to stay in bed. But I woke up with just like clarity of thought that I hadn't had in a few days. You know, I was feeling some of the pressure of what's going on in the world right now. And it makes it hard when you're fighting those doubts and those fears. Sometimes to come up with something to talk about and share with you guys. But, you know, I figured I'm just going to share what's going on. I know some of you are going to not appreciate the, the faith side of what I have to talk about, but I can't help that. I am who I am. If you can't live with that, you might as well not watch. But if you can live with it, or if, especially if you can appreciate it, I hope that you'll be back. And I hope that you'll take encouragement from the fact that I face the same troubles you face. I have the same worries and the same doubts and the same fears. And I have to put my faith in a creator who has already written the whole book and knows how it's going to play out. He's allowed our free will to play out throughout mankind. And he's been able to weave his plan into all of that around the free will of the devil and his minions, around the free will of people who have evil thoughts and even people who have good thoughts. He's been able to work all of that together for good in the end. And I have to remind myself of that just as much as anybody else does. Because we're all human and we're all prone to those same fears and doubts. So put the fear and doubt behind you. Get up and do what you gotta do today. And if that means you gotta get up and get, some, get something good in your body to get started, get up and get that right thing that you need. Like I started off my day today with some relight and hot water. So that's my version of coffee now. Sometimes I'll mix in some butter with it, but not every time. If you need some breakfast, get you some eggs and bacon or meat or whatever it is you need to have with it. And get out there and get that exercise. Don't be afraid to face the day. You gotta face the day anyway. You might as well get up and face it the right way. Start off on the right foot. Get that exercise in that your body needs. Even if it's just sitting in your chair and lifting your legs, if you're really, if you're laid up, maybe you're in the age group where you just don't have that mobility anymore. Don't let that stop you from doing what you need to do. You can do a little bit of something. But if you're like me and you've been still blessed with the ability to get up and go, don't neglect it. Get up and make it happen. Take care of that body you have. It's the only one you got for the rest of your life. You might as well keep it up. That's all there is to it. <laughs> You're stuck with it. Go ahead and take care of it. Anyway, that's a short one today, guys. I appreciate you coming along with me. I'm looking forward to seeing what today's going to bring. I hope you have a great day. See you next time. If we pay extra, could we maybe get some grease or fat?